So I know a lot of you have been requesting this, a tutorial on the T-Pod or the TGP targeting pod. Well, there's been an update recently. It has enabled some functionality, should we say, of the T-Pod. It was an accidental release, if you have a look here. They released a development build onto the beta branch 1.5.8 only, and I believe this to be by accident. The uh, laser does work in a roundabout sense. You can slew the TGP around, find yourself a target, you can zoom in and it'll display usually correctly on the HUD where the TGP is looking. I've noticed the directional inputs on the TGP display itself are often incorrect. You cannot use CCRP. The DMT bugs out whenever you attempt to lock the laser mark set by the TGP. So for the time being you can just about work the TGP into a CCIP drop so you can dive bomb with the GBU-12 and the T-Pod working together. But I've had, honestly had so many bugs, I don't think it's worth your time trying to use it just yet. Like I said, this update was released by accident. They've also included an update to the pocket guide if you want to have a look into it in more depth. But the basics are simply to point your TGP at your target by going into the menu, T-Pod, turning it off standby, enabling the TDC button. You then move your cursor on the screen over your target, press the slew button and it will lock that area, slew onto your intended target, zooming in on the MFD buttons if required. You then arm the laser with the top left by pressing safe, which will then switch to armed. You switch to the laser mode instead of target, or oh, sorry, instead of marker or training mode, and then you press fire to laser the target. At this point, GBU-12s will correctly guide in on it, provided you use the CCIP drop method. If you attempt to use the DMT, you get all kinds of bugs, frankly. I've had the DMT lock the air, I've flown past floating laser marks, I've had my MFCDs, sorry, M MPCDs completely and utterly lock up the air. I've had them lock the wrong position on the ground, they don't update, the, la the guided bombs do not follow the laser pointer and it's so dysfunctional that it's not really worth your time trying to use laser guided bombs right now. You can use it reasonably effectively for visual recon if you wish, but like I said, it's not really that functional, and it was an accident that they released it in the first place, so for the time being, this is what we've got. You're welcome to try using it, I'll include the man updated pocket guide in the description below. You can use it to lock the ground with the TGP laser and then use the CCIP drop mode with the GBU-12 and you can score hits with it. It will track the laser in that particular condition. But beyond that it really doesn't appear to function. Like I said CCRP cannot be used because the DMT bugs out every time I've tried to use it. It simply locks the wrong location or the air. The uh, Once you have dropped it then seems to not drop the uh, the bomb on the laser mark, it'll drop it on where it thinks the laser mark, it, mark is, which is not where it actually is. I've tried cycling the laser, moving the TGP around, the lasers don't appear to be modelled quite correctly at the moment. So uh, for the time being it's best just to leave it alone. Like I said, you can use it for recon if you wish, and if you really really must you can use it to self laze in a CCIP drop. But once you try to combine the sensors it just breaks, it goes wrong. When the TGP is in a functional enough state to use, by which I mean you can perform CCRP drops using the T-Pod and DMT together, I will create a video covering how to do it in detail. Until that point, you just have to wait until they update the game, I'm afraid. So hopefully we'll get a, uh, a good update soon. It appears that uh, this is a development build, and it is behind where, they are, where the team actually is. So I'll give them a bit more time, and hopefully we'll see a nice update, and it'll work properly at least the very basic functionality. So until then I wish you happy holidays and uh, I'll get you a video as soon as the teapot is ready.